My name is Michael Young and I'm a lawyer who handles contested estates in Texas. Question that I commonly get is, should I use a form will? A will that I find on the internet or I get it in an office supply store or that I find in a book somewhere? And the answer is, you should not. And the response I often get is, well, you're a lawyer and that's what you would say. And lawyers are expensive. Well, I'm not an estate planning lawyer. I do not draft wills and trusts. So it doesn't matter to me financially. I'm purely a litigation lawyer. I contest wills for clients and I defend wills for clients. But here's why you should not use a form will and you should instead hire a lawyer to draft a will. First reason is sometimes the form wills just simply are not technically valid. I would say I see that maybe in about 20% of the cases when I see wills that uh, are involved in my contested estates. Probably the more common reason though is when you hire a lawyer to draft a will, that lawyer is going to meet with the testator, is going to verify that the will is expressing their wishes, or at least they should. A good state planning attorney will verify that that is what the person wanted and that the testator understands the will and that they're free from undue influence, at least as best as the estate planning attorney can do. You have no such safeguards with the form will. In fact, what I typically see is the person who's going to benefit from the will goes to one of the various legal websites, purchases a form will, downloads it, you know, fills in the blanks and gets their friends somebody they work with or their friends at the bar or sometimes people they don't even know at a bank or a credit union somewhere to serve as witnesses, everybody signs the will and then it's filed for probate. Uh, those can be contested all day long because you're not gonna have a, a professional whose job it is to oversee the process. Really, your witnesses often don't even know the testator, they don't know what's going on, uh, the person who prepared the will is the person who benefits from the will. So I would generally say it's a bad idea. If the estate is tiny, okay. But if the estate is in the six or seven or eight, nine figures, absolutely not. You should hire an attorney who is experienced in both drafting wills and overseeing the execution of wills.